The state of Texas is preparing, in essence, to execute Forrest Gump. In one month, the state of Texas is scheduled to execute a man convicted of killing his daughter two decades ago. Today, a growing number of advocates say that man, Robert Robertson, is innocent and there was no crime at all. That ranges from his lawyer. But this isn't about blaming those people. It's about an acknowledgement that mistakes were made that are about to cost an innocent man his life. To best-selling author John Grisham. Well, what's amazing about Robert's case is that there was no crime. To a bipartisan coalition of more than 80 House lawmakers. But I can tell you what we agree on 100%. You cannot execute an innocent person. You cannot execute someone in a situation where there may not have been a crime committed. Robertson was arrested after bringing his chronically ill two-year-old daughter, Nikki, to a hospital. Advocates say medical professionals diagnosed her with shaken baby syndrome without evaluating her prior medical conditions. Law enforcement, including the lead detective on the case, took the word of doctors. He now says Robertson is an innocent man. I will be forever haunted by my participation in his uh, prosecution, his arrest and prosecution. He is an innocent man. Robertson also had undiagnosed autism, which medical professionals and law enforcement interpreted as a lack of empathy for his daughter's condition. The entire handling of this case, from the rush to accuse Robert of child abuse and arrest based on his presentation as a person with autism, are of grave concern. Those advocates are now urging the State Board of Pardons and Paroles to recommend clemency for Robertson. If they take up his case and make a recommendation, they'll bring it to Governor Greg Abbott. Otherwise, the only option for Robertson would be intervention from the United States Supreme Court. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.